I'll be quiet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this podcast is sponsored by Yak Attack. Yakattack.us. And well, Yak Attack was founded in a garage in 2009 and uh, founded by Luther. And he has uh, they have quickly grown to be the leader in the kayak fishing industry, specializing in kayak, kayak fishing rigging solutions. Variety of rod holders, camera mounts, light poles with the, with the day flags, fish finders, fish finder mounts, and more like the black pack and, and, and the, the white one that goes with that one. Really what, what the whole gear idea is, it starts off with the gear track. And that comes in different sizes and colors and the screw ball that attaches to it and everything attaches to that. As kayak anglers themselves, they are tightly integrated in the kayak fishing community and are acutely aware of what kayak fishing needs. And that's the thing is these guys actually kayak fish and they are, they kayak fish weekly. I mean, I, I was gonna go up there this week and we both, we were, you know, jumping in our schedules and go, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be fishing that day and, and we're gonna be coming in that day. I was like, well, I'm gonna be fishing that day. So I didn't end up getting up there. But yeah, they are kayak fishermen and everything is made in the USA. One of the um, products that we use a lot in kayak, as kayak fishermen we use a lot is um, uh, camera mounts and especially when you're by yourself. And the, this is the Panfish Portrait. I'm gonna take it off of the camera real, real quick. And it's got a Monty mount or a gear track ready. And that's what that is down here at the bottom. It's a six inch high camera mount that's Monty mount and gear track ready so you can easily take it on and off your boat. It is, is essentially allows you to get that perfect hero shot when you, lift that, when you lift that fish out of the water, especially when your guys are away from you. This is basically, and the extensions of this with the dog bone, has taken Lee's job. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with this, and uh, actually the picture I posted today, that red, I, I took it with this, with this camera, and um, it's real easy to do, and it's, it's, it's an excellent way of doing it, especially when you're by yourself. And for instance, like when you're fishing alone and all your buddies are gone, and you got the fish, and you, all you have to do is Screw it on, put it on your gear track, and the whole thing moves. So when it's stiff, when it's stuck to the gear track, the whole thing is on a 360, 360 um, uh, degree pan, and that's what it's called a pan fish because it actually pans around 360 degrees. So when it's stuck on there, you can get in the back of it, hit the buttons, turn it towards you with the timer on, and get get that fish shot while your buddy's over there bullshitting. And for your GoPro guys, these things have specific mounts for the GoPro cameras also. So that's Yak Attack at Yak Attack US and check them out. All right, guys, come on in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> file it. Single file, folks. <laughs> Kindergarten. <laughs> All right, this is podcast number 21. And it's June 18th. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it's June 18, 2014, and we have William Rogowski, Willie Rags, <laughs> little Tommy V, <laughs> and he's from AllOutKayakFishing.com, and Richie Beckele from HookLine-Sinker.net. You got it. Yeah, and Beckele with a K. Beckley with a K. Now you wrote it down on my notes with a K because usually I'm doing it with, with, with a K. K. Yeah. And Lee. Uh -huh. And we've all done some fishing, of course. Um, uh, my report's are real easy. I'm just gonna go over mine real quick, cause you know I did a cobia paddle and went out, you know, went all the way out about two miles or so. Dead calm day, you saw menhaden and, and rays and everything, but no fish. So just basically the paddle. When I came back, uh, hit hit the backwaters, back on um, the inlets, and didn't catch anything yesterday. But caught two reds today, and that's when I'm when I posted. And that's about it. Oh, I didn't see that picture yet. Oh yeah. Just yeah, some, yeah I'm just a little tiny ones, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, a little maybe eighteen, maybe eighteen. But you know what's funny? Just fighting them, it's like it, it's still a red. It's, it's right. still a red. Yeah. It's still the one I hooked the other day, the, 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 the one, one I hooked the other day in the same spot was probably could have eaten that one. Yeah, well, you I hooked a big little red the other day yeah. in Little Creek. It, it pulled the hook on the trout rod I had it on. Yeah, I, that's my fault. I mean, I was just having fun. Yeah, I did not realize that the fish took off into six inches of water. Yeah. And I was ready to like batten down the hatches, and this thing could just swim wherever it like it just it would just shoot left and right because it didn't have anywhere to go. So I mean, it just it just turned a crazy way and came loose. But I mean, I caught an 18 inch flounder after that. I got I got outside. I got around uh, you know around the outside around the jetty out there. I started drifting around, and uh, 
one 18 inch flounder against right on the sand edge. You know, it was the wind was coming crazy out of the south that day, or yeah. southwest that day, and it blows that upwelling kind of out where we fish, yeah. and it just it, it creates like when the tide is going out, and you get along the jetty, there's like a definite sand line. Yeah, and the, 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 on the other side of the sand line, it's impossible to see. Nothing's gonna eat. Well, you I was know. surprised today. It was so muddy in the back. I mean, it's like. It was, I was almost going, well, I wish we kind of had a spinner bait for this. Cause right. That's kind of the, I, yeah. I've thought about that recently, too. I mean, because yeah, well, we well, actually, we went back, uh, Billy and I went fishing. So and You know what I was using? Lobster. The bright, bright orange lob. lobster. Yeah. I was using a chartreuse head and a bright orange lobster, which is a gold. Yeah. Gold. Uh, yeah. I caught my thing. fish no. on those same flat DOA cows that I've been using that are root beer colored with a yeah. pearl right. tail. Yeah. It's a DOA cow, I think is what they call yeah. it. Yeah. They like still make it. a lot of yeah. years ago. It's a four inch. <laughs> no, it's not even, I don't even think it's four inch. The ones I'm using are like this big. Oh, no kidding. They're tiny ones, like three, two and a halfs or threes, yeah. Damn. They're little ones. That's the one I was catching this big puppy drumming root again on a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was a little bait and I just put it the right distance in front of them and make it move one time and they'd either move in and eat it or move in and move away. A lot of the bait right now isn't that big to yeah. begin with anyways. You're maybe I did see ahead. some good bait in Little Creek the other day though. I mean, I saw something that would eat the size puppy drum that I hooked. You've seen a lot I of mean, shad I saw some three, flicking. Well, I mean, I saw some giant yeah. shad flicking, yeah. but I don't even, I don't ever even count so that as bait. Small mullet yeah. moving through. Well, I mean, I, those giant shads, you can tell how big they are. Inside an inlet, I don't even count that as bait. Yeah, no, I just, not, people are like, they're jumping everywhere. I'm I like, yeah, like, whatever, yeah, I hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I hear well, you. Is it basically where they're gulping air? You know, it's like what they're doing with tarpon. It looks like what they're doing with tarpon, except sometimes you see some of them come sideways. It's, yeah. it's kind of weird. It's crazy, but, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, so I'm thinking they're hitting and slashing. Yeah, and there's those shad. I mean, these shad are over a pound yeah. a piece. I mean, they're big. They're yeah. not, they're, the, the fish ain't jumping all over the place. Yeah. No. <laughs> I've had people tell me, man, like, oh, I saw speckled trout jumping all night long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's great. I ain't eight. seen the first one. <laughs> I've seen more drum jump than I have trout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. think I've only seen one of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So our yeah our reports are really easy now. You guys. <laughs> yeah, we were going to have you in here last week because that's when you caught you actually caught a cobia. Yeah. So basically, the, the you caught a cobia and then you caught yourself. I did. <laughs> Twenty. Well, Successfully uh, landed both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go and start the week, the week before you know, the successful trip. And before we turn that light just a little oh, bit towards again. Other way, other way, other way, other way. There we go. Yeah. It's all in my eyeballs. I'm trying to look at you and it's almost like, I'm sure that's probably annoying you too. Not that far. Just like right there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I tried to get it before. I actually did that one before we started. All right. So. <laughs> And this was uh, the day I went out with you guys. Yep. It was uh, a bunch of us, and you guys anchored off and, and started chumming, and I was paddling around looking. And um, uh, the uh, the wind started coming up, and I think I came in. I think I went through yoga class. But yeah. you guys, you 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 guys stayed there in, on, on the chum lines. Yeah, we uh we had a couple chum uh, chum slicks going somewhat close to each other. Um, like you said, the wind picked up. Uh, we kept chumming. We had. Right, I mean, we had a few small fish come in right away. Yeah, like, like 33, 35. Yeah, nothing, nothing much. I mean, I saw a baby on a ray right, right, yeah. earlier. I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe that big. It was maybe. 18 incher. But uh, yeah, in that, in the yep. water, probably. I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, well, it wasn't. <laughs> I was like, there was there really nothing much going. We uh, you had some sharks, or I, I know yeah. I caught a couple of sharks. Uh, you know, obviously rays everywhere, but. <laughs> Once the tide went started going slack, I decided to, uh, shit, I just took a paddle. I just uh, headed out deeper water and just kept paddling, um, just go for a stroll. It was the winds kind of died out a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah. So you were able to see a little bit better because when I when I left, it was it was getting it, it, it was it, it didn't drop too much, but it dropped enough where I could see into the water. Yeah. So basically, what I did is I just put the sun to my back where I could see in yeah. the direction I was paddling. Yeah. So, and that's, uh, so I left the uh, Billy and Joe, was, yeah, Joe's the other guy that went mm -hmm. up. Billy and Joe, I, I just left, I started elusive paddling. Underwood. Yeah. Underwood. <laughs> underwood. The elusive Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out like when we have a party or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just started cruising around and, um, and uh, realistically it was uh, like my first real Covia trip ever. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, uh. But I mean, I knew what I was looking for, obviously. Yeah. You know, I mean, I saw rays up top, but you know, 
see fins come out. I'm like, okay, yep, they're it's going this way, but they're side by side yep. in unison. Raise. Yeah. And then I saw Menhaden bust. I mean, I'm at this time I'm a good. What do you think? Three quarter mile away from the chum line. If oh, I'm, easy. Easy. Not easy. Longer. So a little bit probably even with that uh, marker that's out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where exactly. That's, that's where I was headed to. Be at. Yeah, that's where actually. That's, that's where, where I went the other day, at. and I went outside just a little bit outside of that. Yeah, yeah. and I want. That's where my my goal that's was like. You know what? I'm gonna go out there to the you know salt drop out there to the yeah. drop. Yeah. You know, sure shit. I saw I saw a Menhaden busting. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Yep. Not busting as in something attacking it. No, I I saw shit coming out. Okay, okay. Flicking or chart something like crashing on it. No, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Just well, I didn't see any blitz or nothing. Right, but you see, <laughs> yeah, I saw that right. stuff popping. Right. So I went and checked it out. Obviously. But see, that's yeah. But to clarify, that's nothing. That's that's not anything attacking the Menhaden. No, I right. no, it wasn't. Yeah, it's right, just right. Menhaden school. Right. No, just I, I saw Menhaden. So when you say Menhaden busting, that sounds like something. Okay, attacking. no, no, no. They, they were doing their thing. Just right, no. Menhaden. Just flick, saw a school of Menhaden on top. Yeah, yeah, and they flick. Yeah, to clarify, there was nothing busting them, busting them up. Yeah. Well, I was like, I'll go check that yeah. out. You know, yeah. it's something. That's what I did. I was like, yeah. yeah so, I don't know if the fish were around to that or whatever, but as I'm focused on something, I, I like something else catches my attention, and uh, a couple things, you know, it pops out of water. But this time, it's still got a chop to it. And then I saw two, you know, fins pop out, but this time they were in line in the direction they were going. So I immediately knew, you know, fish. Yeah. And at that time, they were good 40 yards away. So I seen the direction they were going. So then I kind of, they were heading towards my left side. So I started paddling left and kind of cut them off. And I saw, I mean, plain as day, three damn cobia yeah. up right. top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, once like you, you see them, it's snicker, really like, that's, that's yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. It's what, once you see There's them, no mistake it's not, it's not a, like, I, you don't think you saw them. No. Because well, you see cobias, I went out my first trip in Rick's boat this year. The first time we went looking for them, we st I stood up in the front of the boat, and in five minutes, the very first thing I said, and standing on the front of the boat, was cobia. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't what's that or a fish is coming. Yeah. Yep. It's chocolate swimming in the water, yeah. and, and that's, they that's all it's, look the with, same. With cobia, it's not what was that. It's, yeah, it's you know it's what they is. If you know, if you thought you saw something, bait flick next to you. Mm. You, yeah. they, they're yeah. not coming up to the top and going back down. Yeah. They're not. They're, 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 these fucking things are just cruising. I know. Yeah. They're just cruising. <laughs> like, and that's why people think they're sharks. Like, right. Uh, at yeah. the Chesapeake Bay Bridge one time, somebody was fishing I got on the, some kids on the beach last on night. On the shoreline. <laughs> and, and, yeah. And going, sharks, I see some sharks swimming around. Yeah, some well, small yeah. Like, well, last night I was walking down the beach at my house. Not to cut your story off. Last like, yeah. night I'm walking down the beach at the house just because I take walks down the beach or yeah, whatever. Right. I mean, we live right here, so... And these kids like are looking at. I see these ray wings pop up, and they start blasting like right. it's ray sex season yes. or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. That but it is. they're just blasted, and these kids are like fins, and they start running out of the water. And I walk up to them, <laughs> and I'm like, "Look, it's just bullnose stingrays. They're essentially harmless. They do have a spike, but it's literally this far from the back. They're like yeah. they they can't swing and hit you. You gotta like stomp on one. Literally, this is virtually harmless. Well, we're not going back in the water. And I just looked at her and I was like, that's your choice. I'm just telling you right now, I know what that is, and it's harmless to you. Mm -hmm. You do what you want to do. Yeah, but it's still know? American Steamrays are allowed, too, so yeah. yeah well, that, that stuff is around, but I mean, look, nobody's been killed on Ocean View Beach here. Yeah, and, by and, Stingray. And, what, as long <laughs> as they've been recording by a Stingray. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you see these three Cobia. Obviously, cobia. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> and like I said, my, this is my first time cobia fishing. It, like I said, it didn't take a rock scientist to figure out. That's what I'm going for. Right. Man. Oh, yeah. They got big fork tails yeah. and brown as shit. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and it's not intimidating, but it's not like, oh, there's a little puppy drum. No. Like, holy <laughs> shit. Right. These are this animals. Is huge. Yeah. Your, heart, your heart's going to Oh, yeah. yeah. These are animals right here. And, it, you know, I. I had uh, I had two trolling rods out. I had a free line uh, bait rod, and then one on a two ounce egg sinker. You know, right below, right by my kayak. <laughs> so two right behind me. No rods. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, my side casting rod was still. That's why I was actually surprised that you guys had all those lines out when you were out there. After you knew what I had went through, fucking around, I lost one. You know, they got more lines. I, I, you <laughs> got more yeah, lines. Still, two lines in the, in the chaos. Well, of that. Yeah, and then, I, and then, and then you saw. That. And then you saw me the next time with one, and it's right there. Where I, I know how to reel nothing. I know how to reel nothing. I'll tell you. I, I'll, I'll get to it because because okay. I, I, I kind of use your uh, <laughs> use your experience to my advantage. Good. Good. So so long story. Uh, so I you know I had my bucktail my bucktail rod behind me. So I mean. 
I know exactly where everything is, so I just wanted to keep eyes on him. Yeah. And so I never took my eyes off him. I didn't make any cra crazy fast movement yeah. to start, you know, to alert him. Through sight fishing, I that's the stuff I know. So yeah. it's just a different species. So yeah. I quick, you know, I slowly grab my rod, flip it over, throw a, a perfect money cast. This is a bucktail? Yeah, buck tail. yeah, bucktail bucktail jig, you know, curly yeah, yeah, tail yeah, grub. Yeah. But not a lot, you didn't throw a crooked. No, 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 I kept that shit uh, still in the water. Yeah. Threw it out, and it was perfect cast. And is it like literally? Is it as my first pop? These fishes, they didn't even know the jig was there. They just took a turn, and and then my jig ended up coming up from behind them. Ooh. So then I kind of let it settle, so I wouldn't spook it and run into them. Yeah. Then as they turn, I got a real good beat on them and threw about 15 yards, or 15 feet past them and in front of them. Mm -hmm. And as they're coming through, then I just start ripping like son of a bitch and just, just dancing, saying, Oh, yeah. And then, I, then, then the, the, I seen the first one, I grabbed his attention, and then I just let the damn thing just drop, and yep. then all three of them disappeared. Yeah. And then I did <laughs> one more pop, and I'm just, yeah. then I'm waiting. Tight. Wham! Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And then, uh, <laughs> those things, you think those drum hit right. hard when they hit a fucking yeah. buck. Well, see, I mean, I've, only, yeah, I've, only, yeah. I've only caught those two small ones, and then the one big one I, I hooked, I just came tight. Right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When this you feel them hit a bucktail, right. when you're, right. oh my god. Right. You Louisville think those slugger. drum hit hard. Yeah. yeah. Bang! 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 That's what, that's what was like, oh, boom! I, I set the hook and immediately. You <laughs> think it's the big one immediately? Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I did. And then, so more or less, uh, using Kevin's experience, as this thing, I purposely I kept good pressure on it, but I had to drag smoke down pretty good just so mm -hmm. I could get a good hook set. Yeah. Then yeah. I backed off on it, yeah. and then I immediately started cranking it in the line because <laughs> I knew I was, you know, my it was uh, my reels is. Uh, Stratic FJ 5000, hmm. you know, with 50 pound braid, and I had a shitload on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, 50 pounds. Yeah, yeah so I like a over 150. Yeah, pounds. I knew I was good. Yeah, and so yeah. Uh, I immediately got in my my free line, and then and then my Celtis had the weight on it, so I got that in, and then kind of cranked her down, and immediately just started going for a ride. Once I got on top of it, though. That fish wanted to stay down. It didn't want to go for. It did go airborne though. The cool thing is it went about oh, 15 shit. foot. You got video of this? The problem was was uh. I was using my remote, right? And I might have—I'll have to review it. I think you can hear the audio on my bow cam. My stern cam didn't turn on right away, so I had to manually turn it on. I thought my stern, my Ooh. stern cam was going, yeah. but when when I first hooked into it and it started making a run, before I was able to get a line up, when I put some pressure on it, the line went up. Square the whole damn fish out of the water. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, That's right. Ten they feet. like to jump. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. And they do the dumb there. jump too. This thing oh, just like land awesome. over side. Yeah. 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 They do the dumb it jump. Like, so shit. awesome. I know, like a, you, all of them. Yeah. They do the same. It's not always the exact same jump, but it's the same, same. dumb just jump. Uh, free, sometimes free they fall. land like sideways. The sometimes yeah. they land forward. I've seen them jump out of the water and land on their back. Just like well, I've fall seen backwards. I like what the fuck are you doing? You see thinking, how they went about the one time and one like did a flip. I mean, yeah, it was, like, it was like it had a stroke in midair. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, they did the dumb jump. Yeah, not like a tarpon where it's like controlled. Yeah. No, this thing just jump into. It, it, it was yeah. badass. I yeah. mean, uh, so uh, like I said, once I no, no, I cranked no, no, no. The, once I cranked the drag down, I uh, you know I got right on top of it up. and then. Uh, you can read the whole conversation. This dude, not a fisherman. No, oh. no. Oh. <laughs> so let's see, and then uh, oh yeah, so then once I you know I fought the fish for a little bit, but the gaff I had at the time was a little piece of shit like crap ass gaff, and so I go for this. Wait wait wait. wait. So so did the fish ever cut back on you or anything? They just stay down. It. No, it did cut back because uh, I remember my. It cut under my kayak. I don't know how many times because yeah. I'm using one of them down imaging uh, humpback oh, units. <laughs> so the, in my mind, I know my transducer is sitting about yeah. an inch or two below my the center line of my hull. Oh. So if that yeah, thing makes a beeline, I yeah. immediately bury it all the way to like my my reel yeah. face is that far from the water, just so I have that clearance to control it. Yeah. Otherwise, if that thing gets wrapped up, game over. So uh, I do remember it going out underneath a couple times, but I, the way my cameras are positioned, I try bringing everything, you know, on my left-hand side, yeah. on my port side, and, uh, yeah, it fought like son of a bitch, man. The thing I noticed was the head shakes on them are way quicker than, like, a big drum. Drum is, I mean, power, but, like, boom, boom, yeah. boom. This thing's dot, 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 like a really it's, quick jack. Yeah, yeah. they do. They, Fast. I was like, Jesus. They, they sh yeah. Now, did he really come quick. up with any other cobia? Oh, yeah, and, oh, good, thank you. 
So as I'm fighting it, I knew that I, not that I hooked, I don't know what the other one was, or how the size, but when I, when I was fighting this fish, when this fish came up, his body was with him, and this son of a bitch was a good 50, I'm saying 15 inches longer, because I don't want people to think that I'm out of my mind, mm -hmm. but this fish was a monster. So, a paper. <laughs> Oh, Big easy. Fish. Yeah, the 50. Oh, yeah. when, when, I'm, when I'm talking, it was every bit of 55 inches. Yeah. It was a big fish. And, and when it turned with the fish, when the, when mine made a run. That's crazy. When it stay with them, dude, all the way. And they won't eat anything if you throw them at them once. If you don't hook them up at the well, same dude, time, that was my not fear because it was right away when I was reeling my line. Because when he made the first run, he was right by my kayak. Right. And I had two baits out. Right. Fuck and that. Cut that little one off. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know, right? You I don't know which one was hard to tell well, yeah. which one yeah. was which. But when when the, when mine made a run away from me, I seen the width of mine and then the width of the other one. That damn thing's back. Damn. I mean, oh my god! I was I knew right away. I was like, that's a behemoth. Yeah. And it stayed with him all the way through. Once he made the jump and and came down, and then uh, was thrashing on the surface, and then one kind of disappeared. But yeah, for a little bit. For good it's so crazy minute. after the fight he still was hanging with him it was for yeah. a while because he was excited it was like it was swimming everywhere yeah and i was just like Dude, that was literally we hooked we took one last year in blake's boat i mean in rick's boat me and blake go out and we both hook one off buoy on menhaden we get them to come up and there's three more with them well mine was like 50 pounds so we put a gaff in that put it in the boat blake still kept his on it's swimming all around the boat all the other ones are swimming around the boat he literally puts this rod in the rod holder with a 30 pound cobia on it right and we tried for 20 minutes as we drifted to catch these other two cobias that were hooked up because this one's just hooked up on the rod swimming around the boat like you know just that, hooked that up. was the same thing with rob last <laughs> and nothing year. nothing that they, they, they just if you don't hook them up blake and i hooked up at the same time we both threw right. we both hooked up after that, it's a, like, I don't know. What know are you guys, doing, homie? What are we doing? I know guys who uh, leave the big one in the water. Like, we'll tie it up. Yeah. So like, well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swimming. I mean, to catch yeah. more like yeah. that, yes. Yeah. But those aren't, they're not catching the ones that are swimming with it at that moment. Right, right, right. You know like, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's this guy that keeps posting up. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Wes has been the name of the guy. Too. There's been, uh, well, Wes does it every year, but there's a guy that's been charter fishing. Mm. That's been going out there, man, and he catches them. He ties them off, and he, he, he's been catching them left and right. Yeah. I mean, it's. We can't do that. I mean, no. Bad yeah. I, I can't say we can't do it. I, I, I can't say we can't I, do it. I, I put a I've belly I've literally seen up. Bass Knight put a 39-incher 15 feet right. in front of his kayak on his anchor rope. That's, he tied a 15-incher <laughs> to his anchor rope 15 feet in front of his boat. Yeah. He caught a bigger one that day. Yeah. Now I gotta say that one. <laughs> Put a forty plusser on. Yeah, my, my man uh, took a fish and tied it to his anchor rope right here in front of his boat. Uh, so then. uh Kobe a killer. <laughs> yeah. So then, I, yeah, I brought, like you said, I brought a shitty gaff with me. And, uh, and I, I knew in my head, uh, I'm not going to, I'm a big catch and release fisherman. But when it comes to a good eat like that, yeah, it's coming home. And what they are the fastest next to uh, Mahi Mahi, fastest yeah, really. rowers ever. Kill them. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 you don't have to kill everyone you run into, dude, but you can kill them and eat them. They I'm not worried fast. about running into too many. It's <laughs> yeah, they, they. You can kill yeah. them and they're doing Kobe they is fast. aquaculture too. Yeah, they're, uh, they they actually have a farm on the, the eastern shore where they grow yeah. in fresh water. I think there's one in um well they do. There's, there's one, one out west of Richmond too. All right, right, right. That's yep. the one they've been, they've been yeah. releasing the year. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're releasing really those. These guys yeah. on the eastern shore are like growing them to kill and commercially sell them. Right, right, right. they it's a commercial right. farm on the eastern shore. They grow them in like almost it's brack it's got some salt in it but it's almost fresh water yeah. not like not even brack yeah, so that's why the, that that yeah. fish that's the fastest growing I, yeah and i didn't sweat here. it so when i seen it when i was fighting it and when i got it up to the kayak i knew i knew it was definitely illegal to bring home mm -hmm. so I, like i said i went for the gaff job i had them on a couple times but the gaff was so you short had it on the gaff a couple times my get i don't have much leverage on them so uh, the thing popped off and then that's basically the i legged the damn thing you gotta go I with the mouth of the hand and, gaff yeah, it was. It sucked. It was a pain in the ass. So I basically leg kicked this thing <laughs> in, and immediately I just went for the 18 ounce. Yeah. Ball <laughs> pain is ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put him to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just started going to town, and uh, and that and that was that. So there's so. video of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Because oh, yeah. that's what we like. Yeah. <laughs> we like the hammer shot. Hammer to the dome. That's yeah. right. There's you a, take I'm it. A, there's a. I carry one. one I carry too. one, and I just. It, it, it's, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to get into humanity and any of that shit in this because 
I'll kill and finish in a heartbeat. Well, they are. I will. That thing, thing will fuck room. you yeah. up. He's got spines on it. They're too. spiny. Yeah. They're like sharks. They will come right back to life and fuck yeah. you up. They will. They will hurt you. And that's what's yeah. sketchy about so, it. And I have the damn like, thing between my legs all right. at the time. I mean, yeah. it's and it not was like calm. a drum. They're not like pulling any they're they're just drum flop. <laughs> Well, I didn't make any fast movements. This thing was calm. Like, it was getting its breath back. Like, I could feel it breathing. Yeah. And the jig, I mean, its head's right there. Uh -huh. The jig's right there. And so I slowly, I, I'm like, like, I'm not trying to wake him up. Right. I was like, just He's still right. He's still I, I, like, I, like, I get, I go behind me, grab the, the hammer, and I basically, like, like you said, I'm not, I'm not, like, uh, I don't even know what to say. I, was, I basically told, like, made peace with the fish. Went, hey, right. I said, it's, it's I said hey, little buddy, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I said, sorry about this. Raise up, wham, and then he just started going ape shit. Then wham, wham, wham. Right. And then, and then I thought he was done, and like, and then he started kicking again. Like my sonar shield had folded over my hummingbird. <laughs> I thought he was gonna knock off my GoPro, square Dude, off. I've the seen them break things <laughs> yeah. in boats. I've seen them tail whack spinning rod reels and just knock the handle. A See you later. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was going to happen, so I, I hit him a good probably 18, 20 Just times. Just kept going until yeah. I mean, while he's he still had his head and, up. And then uh, and then I put him in the in the. Did you have a gaff on this? No you had a gaff in him. So he's just no. Because what happened was the last time I went for the gaff, the line was right there, and he shook, and then the the line got uh, with the gaff Ooh. like this, and he turned, and so he literally wrapped three wraps on the gaff. Yep. He, he they did do it, it so and he fast. Turned, and so I'm holding the gaff. I got the thing around my wrist. That's it. And then the hook is like this far above its head, and and then all the weight is on my leader and jig. But yeah. so I'm holding the gaff with it wrapped up, and I'm like, this is nice. He's trying to grab the fish. I I, I gilled it. I went and yep. gilled it and legged it in, and I was like, well, I'm gonna deal with them go, going berserk. They have an easier mouth to deal with than a drum. Is yeah. you've yeah. got to yeah. grab that I thing by the right mouth. In. It's sandpaper. Yeah. yeah, they they literally do not even. Not gonna, well, yeah. they don't even ha tear you apart like a drum. The drum's got those little teeth. No, no, it's like a cat striper. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah striper. like a striper. Exactly Easy. like a striper. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's like, like yeah, the the, yeah. the drum have teeth in that sandpaper. They're These things are the bottom teeth. Yeah, 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 they don't have any of that. It's, it's you mean you can especially the little ones. You can literally lick yeah. the little ones, man, and pull them right in. Yeah, so that's what I did, and then uh, slid right into the death chamber of the trident. That's right. And then, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then uh, that was that was it for yeah, for that night. And you guys didn't see anything at the chump slate. Uh, we saw them throughout the day, but they were all like 30, See, 35. And that's that's what I love about that story, right? Because my whole thing is I'm all like, I don't want to deal with Chunk. Right? Well, and you weren't and out there in the slicks at all. Yeah. The whole day yeah. you were doing your thing. I was just like, thing. I was just like, I can't sit. Because I came back and I sat there and I was like, I, I can't. That one? I was like, I can't sit here. I can't sit here in this and stare oh, yeah. at this chump slick and smell this mint And I can't sit here. And I just start paddling. And I got to paddle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the reason why it was so cool that that I'm so I'm really happy about that part for me personally yeah. about that part of the story where you're like, ah, oh, fuck this, I'm going out here. And well, it validates what you did. Yeah, yeah, that yeah for me. It, well, yeah, and yeah. plus, like my my logic to it was, okay, the, I, I watch a chum bags basically go from horizontal, putting out a good slick to went vertical. Mm -hmm. So now right. it's just now I'm just sitting on right. not a dead slick, but I'm like, well, this hasn't produced yet. Yeah. So I'm I only have maybe an hour and a half. Of before I was gonna call her quit, so I was like, I'm gonna go take a paddle out, and you know, paddle like the it. channel, and then and then come back in and whatever. Yeah. It was more or less as a search, and then let's see what I can see. Yep. Yep. And I was like, I might as well put the sun to my back, and then uh, that way I have a good view. And like I said, I was observing all sorts of shit. So like I knew if there's a fish in the vicinity, that I had a good chance yep. seeing. I just happened to run right into him 40 yards off my bow. Yep. I well, mean, that's, it, it that's, how, that's how it has to happen, man. You, get, you you don't have a tower. You're not standing up in no, a tower we're, like we're a power boat. Yeah. If you, if, I mean, even you standing, you keep standing. You maybe get the one thing you have yards. on a boat is you don't have a motor running, and they don't really hear you coming. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They just if they're in front of you, if they're if they're following you, you're done. Yeah. Could be a following kayaks is a bad thing. They're not gonna you're not gonna get them to catch anything. They really like to just follow you around yeah. until you change direction or change something, and they just swim away. But they're not going to eat it. But I've definitely, any, any time I've had one come up to my kayak, he's looked right at me and I've looked right at him. Like, oh. Right. Uh, and they turn, oh. I've never even seen one of those stupid things. The only one I've ever seen was the one I had hooked behind. Well, I've caught tiny ones. Mm. Lots of them. Lots and lots of tiny ones. I've probably 
ten at mm -hmm. least now by now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I caught one, another one last year. Yeah, seventeen, eighteen inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one uh, ended up being forty-two and a half. Forty-two and a half. Yeah. 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 Did you weigh it? No, we guesstimated it to be around twenty-five, okay. eight, twenty-eight-ish. Yeah. You know, what have his hate. belly? You look at his belly. Yeah, uh, it had a bunch of crab. Blue crab. Uh, yep, a little, about like that, a whole shitload. And that was it. Hmm. It's all easy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the crabs are extinct, by the way. And Rick saw a bunch <laughs> of them floating across the top the other day. Yeah. Like, Rick went out to the boating shoals where they catch them on, on uh, the the guys on the outside around the buoys out there uh, on the eastern shore, yeah. and caught. So Saturday, it was your. It had to be Saturday. Was it 16 with Matt? He caught 16 for 20. They went yeah. 16 for 20. They had 20 hookups. They caught 16 drum. True. They had a triple at one point. They got a picture of Matt holding one of the boat and there's two beneath it. <laughs> baiting or are they sighting? Bait. Bait. Okay, okay, so you're yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they started, well, it started in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They caught them into the night. And they probably could have stayed there and caught them forever. They. Yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing another another poster that somebody was uh, at there's night. plenty of them. Uh, the guys down south, Wade Hatteras, caught them in schools on top today, yeah. which we, we should start seeing up here again in the bay. The guys fishing you know, out of their boats should start seeing them again on top in the bay. Yeah. So yep. the, the drums should be starting to show up again. They're, they're definitely biting on the on the boat shoals already. Still. And for the boaters, that's kind of the bane of the Kobe boaters' existence because they're trying to get bait. They're seeing Kobe underneath the drum, yeah. and they can't get baits <laughs> down to the Kobe. Because those drum will just slam it. Yep, those guys go on sight fishing, man. They, well, it also, I mean, it, depending on what kind of clients you have on your charter, yeah. those charter boats run into the school's drum, and it can be action for an hour or two. As long as you can stay on the school, if they're not worried about killing stuff and filling the boxes up, they can have the best day of their lives. Oh, absolutely. If they really want to fill the box up and kill fish, the captain can have the worst day of his life because now he has to turn away from this giant pot of red <laughs> drum on top that is just hours of fun, tons of fun, literally tons of fun. Give it to me. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He's got to go away from this and try and find two or three fish swimming on top yeah. all day long by themselves. Yeah. So, it, you know, it depends on your clients. But I would tell my clients, yeah, this one's on me. Is, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's have some fun. The I'll take you out tomorrow. The drinks is on me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep, but I mean, they run into that all the time. Oh, yeah. Literally, a couple years ago, Jake Hiles took a group out of Virginia Beach, trolling for Spanish mackerel up the beach, ran into a school of Kobe. You don't run into this very often. Kobe. Yeah. School of Cobia, like cast it and catch as many as you want all day. Mm -hmm. They got tired after 10 minutes and wanted to go back to oh. the inlet and cast for puppy drum. <laughs> he had to take his sport fishing yacht oh. <laughs> away from this school of Cobias and back into the inlet. Yeah. Those people are uninvited, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers are blocked, you're uninvited. <laughs> you're not, oh. no longer invited along. We, no, yeah. your, our services no longer cater, cater to you. No kidding. Yeah, yep. that's insane. You never find that. No. You never, never find that. It was it was like a school of drum, except it was Cobia. Yeah. And they were everywhere, everywhere from like twenty pounders to hundred pounders, yeah. and it was just yeah, whatever the, you hook thrown in. At the most, what you, you see maybe six. That's a most. Right. Yeah. I've seen well, I mean, a, a, six decent sized ones. I've yeah. seen around a buoy before. Uh, I've literally seen probably 25, 17, Eight. 18 inches around. The second buoy when you paddle out of Rudy, the one you can still actually paddle to. Yeah. The second the, one out of Rudy. The I can? I think so. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. The second one out of Rudy yeah. had like 15, like, they were this big. <laughs> Trout rod copious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we saw that. I was in the boat one day. We were going out. Yeah. So we didn't mess with them. But yeah. yeah. I mean, it was literally stacked up with trout rod copious. And that'll start later in the fall when they get back in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Well, late, late summer. Late summer. Yeah. 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 I've been thinking about when they if, if they start showing up around the bridge again doing a paddle out to the yeah, second. Yeah, it's, 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 it's you got to start. Once we get the to the day, second, yeah, yeah, you're not in the fishing zone until you get to the second, second yeah. and really not yeah. in the fishing zone until you get to like three or four hundred yards past it. But we, we, that day with Rick, we saw him pretty pretty close. Yeah, to the it was second. three or four hundred yards past the second. It was, well, that was almost closer. Now I thought it was within a hundred yards. I don't know. It was, it was probably within a hundred pilings. 
Yeah. In the second, it's no joke to paddle out either. No, it's a you're yeah, a crit, uh, slack current day. Once you're there, if you slack, get there early, once you get there. Current days. And the day I tried to do it, the day I annihilated the sheep's head last year, yeah, I was going cobia cool. fishing. Yeah. But and I caught a bunch of sheep's head that day only because the wind was blowing. The current was really light, but the wind was blowing a little too hard. Yeah. For me to stay right where I needed to be to see them, and the boats were zooming left and right. I mean, I, you got a chance in the kayak because yeah. you th they'll pop up. I mean, the boats aren't <laughs> going to see every one of them. They'll pop up. It was up weird. And I, that was the thing I noticed, and that's why I, I've thought about it because it's not a thing that the boats run by them and they're gone and, and, and they just pop up in there. I mean, they pop up now. They get stung and will pop up and then we'll catch them. We'll, and you can't catch them. And they get you know hooked and broken off. They'll come back up again. Remember the, um, yeah. they, that one day where they were, they were saying, well, that one's already got hooked and he won't, he won't take it. And there's like a right. you know, 50, 60 pounder sitting laying there and he yep. so won't do anything because they already hit him. But yeah, yep. and it was cool because even the boats going by him, they don't move. I mean, we had time to, the boat went by him in front. We had time to jump off into the kayaks and go and try to get on him again. You know, but that, yeah. So I'm really thinking about it going out there and trying that because it seems feasible on those slack current days, those right. middle moon. Well, we literally have probably two days, one week, and then two yeah. weeks, two days, and then the next yeah. two weeks, two days, and right. then that's it. Right. And we got Season's over. Weather and and that's if the wind. And then, yeah. Yeah. Right. And and then you're back on the ocean front. Yeah. 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 But yeah, because it's a four mile trip to there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you start fishing. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, and again, even on those slacker current days, crossing the channel, I mean, you got to keep your eyes open. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to sprint across, basically. Yeah. Just get across. Just get across. Just go. Yep. Yeah. Because it's open water. <laughs> yeah. Open once water. you make it to the island, you're good. Yeah. You got, you, you can relax. You can take yeah. a breath. But. Yeah. Yep. But, um, I've, I've seen them. I've seen Kobe. In, you know, from the yeah. shoreline to the, to the first island. Um, saw one at the Yancey one time, and that was a that was a big one. And you know, it seemed rays all day long, and I saw two fins. And I was like, it was late in the evening too. It was like way low sun. Like we were leaving at first, and and I saw two fins. You know, the current was running this way. So you know, here, here's the here's the pilings, and the current's running this way. And he came around. He came around like this, and I saw him. I was like two fins, and I saw him. I was like two white. You know, white on the sides, but it was two fins like this. Like, well, let's see another fin. And then he turned, and it was a line. I was like, oh, that's what he is. And I paddled up to him, and had a had a bucktail you know, with a with a big gulp on it. Made a cast right, perfect in front of him. Bluefish grabs it and takes off. Oh, <laughs> and the fish dives. You know, because I'm like, oh. And then Rick comes over top of him, and tries to look at him, but it was that was it. That was my shot. That was it. That was it. Yeah. And then yep. I think I've seen another one. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, I, I just missed one. Uh, the guys that were uh, fishing on the Yancey again uh, saw one. Uh, right as we, as we were paddling up, I said, well, we just saw one. Yeah. yeah. But then I you saw and one. Mike got ran up on by those drum. two drums. Yeah. yeah. Just got like ran up on. Yeah. We were paddling back, and you know, this was like close to shore, and, and they just like shot out almost like they were shooting. Almost out came out of the water yeah. and just like two, one like a 45 and a 42 or something. No shit. Nice. <laughs> And we're like, whoa, it's drunk! And I was like, that was just, that was, <laughs> that was it. it. That was gone. <laughs> it was really pretty water. It was like ocean clear yeah. water. It was really yeah. pretty. It was like middle of summer, too. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't fall. It was like, wasn't their run. It was middle of summer. Huh. Yeah. They were just food hungry. Yeah. Chasing something you know, around gas, there. But I was, you know, it was just two and they were moving. <laughs> moving. Yeah. All right, so then the next week. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Hooked up. So now you're feeling all confident. Now you're feeling all. I got a Kobe. I'm a going to Kobe hunt again. I'm got a bigger gaff. I'm gonna stick him. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He went and got a bigger gaff. <laughs> oh, my man is rigged up. Yeah. Last time I uh, I came on unprepared. This time I was ready for battle, man. <laughs> brand new, you know, nice Afco four footer, chisel point, sharp as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so my dumbass man, like, you know, I, I put it in the, in the, you know, on my port side, my paddle keeper, you know, strap right to the side, whatever. Yeah, take the guard off of it. You know, that's the smartest thing to do. Let's take the guard off of it, pin it in, and put it, you know, <laughs> facing at you. <laughs> so it's so it's it's hook point in your in your paddle holder. Hook, hook point, point inside the boat? No, no, no but on the on side. The side. Yeah. But, but here, so your legs facing, are out like this, and the hook point's coming back. Not facing you. behind you, not behind your seat. No, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah, so, no, I have it forward. You know, I'm like, whatever, mindful. I'm like, okay, that's there. <laughs> it's and, and it's like, and I got it, you know, the point as much flush to the, you know, to the hull as it can. Sweet, whatever. So bait fishing, you know, going, you know, catching bait. Can't get a few, put it in the bucket. This is getting funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my my damn, uh, one of my fish bite hooks gets hung up in the webbing of my uh forward hatch so i was like trying to get it loose i'm like shit man so it went natural no. <laughs> <laughs> it did not. oh my god okay you're you see where i'm going oh, I got it. you know <laughs> and, okay obviously you when you got you know your boat you feel like you can move all around it like dance uh, on them yeah, yeah. yeah so i like i have a thing i put my hands in my rod pot i scoop forward and my legs i pop out i scoop my torso and my legs come following up oh. and so Ooh. i Put it up, not far from a sonar shield, kind of leapfrog. Wham! Yeah, uh, I'm hooking the fuck up. And I, well, I felt my legs stop, and it uh, wasn't a pain. I just felt a that's deep, right. It's a yank. Oh no, yep. I felt a deep yeah, pressure, yeah. and I'm like, I mean, it was in there. Yeah, and that's I, right. I backed my leg up, and immediately, I, and I felt the big relief of pressure. Oh, no, you got it out just like that. Well, that's good. Oh yeah. yeah. And then I pulled up yeah, my my like pants. <laughs> and uh, I was just like, it looked like I got shot with like a nine millimeter. Right. It, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was uh, like, and, damn uh, man. Well, that, I have loose chum <laughs> in our uh, boats, and that's the thing. We had like, you know, chum waters everywhere, and you know, it's hot as hell. Whatever. So there's shit everywhere, and I'm right. like, yeah. And then it was, it was like, like I said, I only had a couple baits in my bucket, and we had. And the winds were supposed to drop, so it was supposed to be a really nice day. And I'm like, so Joe's by me, and I'm like, okay, this doesn't look good. But I'm going to go up, you know, I'm like, dude, what do you think? So I, he, looks at it, <laughs> he looks at it, and uh, <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, dude, he's like, it he's like, looks like you just nicked the surface and then tore the skin off. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, I don't feel like a surface pain, like, like you scrape. I feel an internal, like, ow. Like, like, yes, in, like deep, like you just feel the pain. I like, got gaffed. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, dude, see, he's like, he's, you know, so I'm pouring fresh water. I'm squeezing yeah. it until I kind of flush it out. Yeah, pour yeah. fresh yeah. water. And he's just like, oh, no. He's like, it's not that deep. You just tore skin. And I'm thinking, oh, I was like, okay, I had something else to look at it. And so I roll up my pant leg. Put sunscreen all around it so I don't my leg don't get torched, and I was like, I'll let the sun just do its thing, you know, dry it out. And uh, you know, sitting in the kayak, you don't have much pressure on your leg, so I'm I'm fine. But as I we did, I decided we had a chump stuck out as we decided to then take like a mile long paddle. It was a little too rough to be standing up, so I just jumped up on my <coughs> knees and paddle like that. And then after a while, my leg starts kind of like throbbing a little mm. bit. I'm like, okay, whatever. Then, long story short, you know, I just let it go. Fishing went to it suck. Joe decided to go in a little early. I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll go in with you. Yeah. So it was until we got to the beach, man, where I put weight on that thing. I almost fell. I stood up. I'm like, oh my god. Like when when I put pressure on it, it was like, I told him, I'm like, dude, I can't I can't get my kayak by myself. I yeah. was like, you gotta help me. Yeah. So we we basically he basically did. Like eighty five percent of the work, and I took the weight off the back, and he helped drag, drag my boat up to the up to the uh, the launch. Yeah, so gee, yeah, when you put pressure on it, that, your muscles went out. Yeah, Cause, it's cause, all muscle. Because you stabbed the muscle. Yeah, yeah normally after, you know I run. You get past yeah. the flesh, you're into the muscle. I run so. two straps through my my forward handle and kind of drag it like a sled. I couldn't have done that. I'd have paid a guy fifty dollars yeah. on the beach. <laughs> like, hey, just get that kayak right over there because I couldn't do it. And uh, yeah, and then. Long story short, my, you know, my every I put it the, a picture on Instagram and Facebook, and kind of what sold me to go to the emergency room was like, a my fishing buddy telling me you're an idiot if you don't go, puncture wounds and open water and that shit that doesn't jive good. Yeah. You could get total bad infection. And that's why I was like, yeah, okay, you don't want a fish disease. And that's why I was like, okay, it wasn't as much as the pain that I'm going in for, as much as I don't feel like having this thing get infected. Yeah, yeah, right. Absolutely. right. And I'm right. like, why am I even fighting it? The hospital literally is two miles away from my house. 
and I'm on Tricare with yeah. active military, so yeah, it's free. Yeah. I have no you plan. If they find an issue, they're just gonna make it yeah. bigger. So I was like, I'll let that motherfucker out at this point. It ain't been yeah. that long. <laughs> and so the first thing the doctor says when she looks at it, she's like, ooh, she's like, okay, when do you do this? It was about 7.30 this morning. And then this time it was already 8.30 yeah. at night. She's like, well, you should have came in earlier. I would have gave you two stitches. I was like, yeah, right then and there, but. Eh, whatever. So, so she just hooked me up with a tetanus shot and. It's staple it made it the staple or nothing. No, we couldn't bleed anymore. Well, no, because uh, she said I was actually healing really quick. She's okay. like, it's starting to heal. Yeah. But she's like, I would give you a couple stitches to uh, expedite it. Right. But at this time, she just kind of put a topical on it yeah. and tetanus shot and. and oh, so you yeah. straddled the boat and slid down onto your gas. God yeah. damn it. Or actually so went up into it. <laughs> <laughs> No, the, the hook that point was out like that, and I, my leg yeah, slid yeah, right yeah. forward into it, and I had to back yeah. it up. Yeah. Did they have to clean it out or nothing like that? No, they, no, because it was already the top, probably from baking in the sun, was already was already It was already starting. It was already starting. Oh, not affecting that? Nope. Mm -mm. Bruising around it? It, it, it doesn't look like it. No, the, the swelling. Oh, it's not a bad. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, you can see the Let's chisel point. If it was bad, it'd be purple. That does look worse than it was on the water. Oh yeah, because it's a hole. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what Joe thought was a flap oh, of skin. Oh no, man, that that picture you with the little quarter that was pretty. Yeah, see the hole. I, mean, I don't know what. Joe says it was a flap of. He's like, oh, you just took a chunk of skin. I said, Joe, that wasn't yeah. a chunk of skin. That was internal leg. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't want to. Leave. And I'm, that was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and that, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, how how is a, a chisel point gaff gonna take a chunk of skin? I went forward and I backed off of it. Yeah. There's no scraping. Yeah. No. I didn't, I didn't, it was in and it was out. And that was oh. it. What you saw was a big chunk of skin missing was the, the inside of my leg. You know what they tuna. And that's what she said. She's like, okay, <laughs> you got it there because you could have easily nailed the bone. She's like, you missed yeah. your artery. And it, yeah. She's like, that part is all just fatty oh. tissue. Yeah. And she's like, and and she's like, move your toe this. And I'm like, oh, I already did that on the water. Right. She's like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, I flex my foot in every direction and fl wiggle on my toes to see if I... Tenants and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when all of them worked, everything checked out good. You're right. I, I kept... She's like, and you kept fishing. And I was like, well, yeah. Was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, of course, man. That's the thing. Is, 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 oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what other incidents happened that she told you about on Father's Day? She didn't tell me really anything. She didn't want to get too detailed because I don't think they can release that information. Yeah. But she said there were other fishing injuries. <laughs> other gaffs? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they didn't know what a gaff was. I had to explain to them, like, I was like, picture the hook. hook. But I said, picture the the end of a pirate's hand with a big old hook. That's She's it. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was like, picture that on, like, a four-foot piece of aluminum that you bury into a fish to bring in the boat. That's what I did myself. Yeah. And yeah. Finally got it. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. So then the next time... Uh, I, or the next time I plan on using it, uh, I'll keep that. I have no <laughs> idea how many times I've carried a gaff with me, and I've never had it anywhere near my leg at all. Ever. But the yeah, crazy but thing. But you is, have the hook point yeah. back. <laughs> no, I never had it near my leg you. ever. That sits in my fucking crate behind me, standing it's, up in the air. So you, you only need that thing now. at one time. See, You're not going to be like paddling I'm, through the water I, and need your gaff. I keep right. my, <laughs> my paddle holder hook point behind me with a spring over the point. Yeah, see, you still have that Pussy. spring and that can handle fishing line. <laughs> and I keep the fucking gaff in the air and behind me where it can't tangle a line. Line wraps around crazy shit. Yeah. That thing stays behind me. You do not need the gaff. You, you're not going to need it by surprise. It's right. You're right. not going to need a gaff by surprise. Right. <laughs> You're not gonna be out there like, and also oh. falling out hazard. It's another hazard to get in. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to fuck with it. Boat. It's dude. Maybe you fall out and try to reach for your boat and get hooked. If I don't, my I boat flips like over, my gaff is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way I see it, if my boat flips over, my gaff is gone, and I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Well, my rod holders, I don't want to get stuck with it trying to yeah. get back in. Yeah. All my rod holders were taken up by rods, mm -hmm. so. I had my my three pack rod holder How on. How many rods do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Four. A bait no. Rod. That's right. He's got a full bait rod. He's got. Yeah, full I got, rod. I got, I got two. These guys don't have the. Yeah, yeah, you know, don't I get, I'm I get laughed at with my bait rods. I'm like, this is. I tried shit. ordering it. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a bait rod. My jigging rod with my. Uh, Conventional reel with a live bait, but if yeah. I see one, I'm throwing my spinning rod got, tail on it. I've got three and I'm, bait rod. Bait rod is so I small, all, I don't want to consider Three in a bait rod. That's right. Yeah, see, I'm not But we have small ones in it, and they don't, they don't take many real rods. My rod bait rod goes in my rod hatch, too. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I have a separate I, I little rod. I got a little teeny bait, uh, rod holder for that. That's all. I, and I'm like, so I'll finally say, though, the lesson learned was I know I never fish with a gaff. Yeah. The 
day that I caught the cobia was the first time I took a gaff with me on the water because obviously I'm not going to need one for a drum or striper right. or right. whatever. Well, you can't even. So, you know, that's you can't what I mean. legally gaff yeah. a striper, but I would. But, but what I'm talking about, <laughs> I, 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 I never <laughs> take one. So it's just like I'm used to everything else. I know where everything else goes. That was like a new yeah. tool. Yep. I'm like, so okay, well, all my rod holes, I'll just strap this thing in. Not thinking, and I made the mental note of that thing is there. Mental note, but it's but, not in but, the muscle memory to know it's that's, there. That was it. And yeah. what happened was, was after that initial two seconds of, there it is, now I'm a bait fish and talk. Now then <laughs> <Boom>. everything else <laughs> took over and it's natural. Oh, you're snagged up in your in your webbing. Oh, go go Just get that thing out. Get it. Pop up. Wham. Shake. I'm like, yep, that, <laughs> that's where that's at. And because I'm so natural, Moving all over my kayak, yeah. turning this way, turning that way, moving forward to reach, it. Mm -hmm. and I just it was instincts took over. I did it. I, I mean, I could see that. I could see if I had one in my back somewhere where I didn't wasn't used to it and I had it unhooked, just reaching around, I'd hook myself. Yeah, you know, just because of muscle memory, I know where everything is. I know where everything. I guess. And I do that occasionally with my black pack when I have like six rods with me when I'm bass fishing, mm -hmm. or if I like I keep my treble hook crankbaits in the back because I've reached yeah. right into them. Right behind me, and I like catch one right in the back of my tricep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I've done it more than once. Yeah, so I hooked my brother like right here one time. He was car fishing on free pairs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! So, <laughs> so, yeah, I like that you guys stayed out there and yeah, and then all that stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I ended, like you said, I ended up fishing. It, it, it honestly it was not that bad. It wasn't until I was stood on it. Yeah, that, I even imagine. on the knees, on the knees, I still, you know, the There's calf muscle is not engaged. So, so, on you just because you, you you are up on it. Yeah, and, you're and it wasn't until for a little bit and then uh, putting a little bit of pressure. And there was times I would try and stand. If I would see something a ways away, I would just try and get an extra vantage yeah. point just to maybe if I could see uh, an outline. And then I was like, okay, it's tender. But when Joe went in, I then thought smartly, probably for the first time of the day, of, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with you, just whatever, just in case. And when, like I said, I stood up and went, like, "Holy crap!" That's when it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's, it's still that's that's cool. Oh yeah, it was a stupid, the, stupid the, ass mistake, to, you know. But I'm sure I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you only stick yourself like that one time. Yeah. <laughs> But the I thing was, was a gaff in the I just bought the thing a couple yeah. days earlier because I was like, I'm not catching, I'm not gonna have another cobia get the fucking best of me. I'm gonna get the baddest ass gaff I'm, I can buy. So I, you know, and then so I'm at work and my, half of my buddies at work fish. So I was like, hey, check this shit out, you know. And I was like, push on that point. I pulled the guard off. They're like, oh my god, that thing's crazy sharp. So we're all playing with it on like that Friday, <laughs> and it was like that weekend. They see me put on <laughs> Facebook, and I'm like, hey guys, I gotta, I'm going to the ER tonight. And like, hey, and stab so then they see the picture. They're like, holy, like <laughs> oh. you dumbass, you just showed me that, and, like how oh, sharp it was. And now you're going to the hospital. <laughs> right. Oh god. So, uh, yeah. live and learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine's got a barb. If I made it that far, Oh I'm man, that would have been horrible. That. I've got a barb gaff. I I oh, intend yeah. on I intend on lip gaffing a fish and holding a rope. Right. right. Or letting go of a rope and holding a fish. What's about free is a flying gaff. It's a flying gaff. Yeah. So basically a flying gaff is a, what I have is a wireman's gaff. Is what they call it. It's essentially like a twelve inch shark hook with a barb. Right. I'm going in the mouth though. I'm not right. this is not a I'm not I'm going in the mouth. Right. I'm uh, I'm, I have enough confidence. I know, like, I've fought enough of these things out of the boat. They'll swim up to you, up to you and open their mouth. Right. As soon as he does, I'm going in the corner of his mouth with this big ass hook. You're mine. Yeah. That's, what, mine. I, that's what I did, and that's how I got You're my mine. line wrapped up. Because, like you said, when he got yeah, up to the kayak, now, his I've mouth got, is open. I stuck the damn thing right there. Yeah, by the time you do that, I've got 15 foot of quarter inch rope. See, then you can let go of your line. Yeah, you can. I, yeah, I, you I can, can, I can sit the fishing rod, I can take the reel out of gear, or if. It gets crazy. crazy. You can cut it. You can yeah. cut your line because the you line. Got I mean, you got him. He's not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna get pulled over yeah. by a fish. And not, not at that stage of the game. You shouldn't. Yeah. You probably already gonna. But if he's next to your prey, you're probably gonna get a hammer smack on him anyway. Before right. He gets away from you. I, I'm, I'm gonna try and lift his head out of the water. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get his head out of the water. It's that's the game's game game over. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? You get his head out of the water and can smack him. Yeah. The rod is down. I mean, I'm, all my stuff is positioned. Yeah. I'm ready. I've never had the chance to use it, but I'm ready. Oh, my damn, my dumb ass keep thinking about trying to release one. <laughs> you can. 
I don't know, but you're not gonna really a giant one to get a shot to get the picture and to hold up a live oh. 80 pounder. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not getting that. But you're not you got the bow cameras too. I mean, what would you, you do? Have a better yeah, chance. What would you do if, if you caught a 65 pound Kobe? You'd probably have to kill it, man, just to get be able to. No, I mean he's gonna pull it in the boat. He doesn't have a gaff or anything. He's pulling yeah. it in the boat a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm gonna do. If, he's if, pulling it in a lot. If he's going nuts, I'll kick him back out again. Make sure the hook's in. You know, if I can see the hook and if I can make sure everything's stuck in. If I can put see him back in, if I can see him put him back in the water. If I can see. <laughs> If I see a hook, <laughs> if I see a hook point out of him, I know I got him. You know, I mean, if it's not, in, you know, not gonna rub the, the leader out and all that stuff. But That's where I was nervous when, it, I, when I brought mine in. The hook point it penetrated all the way through yeah. the, the corner, and like you said, it was that far from my leg. Yeah. And that's when I was like really nervous because yeah, I oh. I then put mine, I did put a lip gripper on him. Right. Because and I, like, had I had one, and I, had I, I clicked it in, and then I wrapped it with. Uh, with Velcro, that way, in case he went ape shit, yeah. I would have just threw him over because then he would still have the hook, and then the lip gripper, which is then parachute corded to my uh, to a ring on my kayak. Yeah, yeah, and I have the same mm -hmm. thing. I have a, I have a clip that I can put my yeah. lip gripper on there. Yeah, and I keep my, I keep I've... the whole time I'm out there, I keep my wireman's gaff through my front anchor trolley. Right. So if some shit goes wrong, it's I've got connected. a rope. It's, it's connected to the front. He ain't pulling me sideways over with. Right. That's a great no, idea. That, is smart. that thing is hooked up to the front. Because me and you are and I, You can stop it. Attaching here. You yeah. can stop it. All you have to do to stop your anchor from coming back to you is grab a hold of those anchor trolley ropes. Yep. And it won't move. Oh, no. He's it's pulling too much from leverage. the front. He can't right. flip you over from the front. They, they, these boats cannot be flipped over from pulling on the front. No. Like, you no. cannot flip them over. You could hang they a damn near a car off at the end of it. Right. And, and they, won't, they won't flip. I mean, this thing's going to tip you up some, but you're not going to flip. Right. Or with him strapped to the front of it. And, that's, so, and that's the thing is, and that's how I keep it rigged. I've yeah. got enough rope that it's cleated here, and I don't plan on keeping it cleated. Right. I'm, I intend on holding it, yeah. but I keep it cleated here while it's there. It's sitting behind me, but the rope is down the whole side of the boat. Yeah. I'm gonna hook this thing in the face, and if it's not in complete control, it gets to go on the anchor trolley, and I just let it. Yeah. I mean, he's got Here we go. The thing is, you got the bar. So right, like I got the bar. Down. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah. Th this hook is literally, it's over a quarter of an inch and around, yeah. too. I mean, it's giant. Once it goes in their mouth, that ain't coming out. Yeah. Yep. That's what she said. Now, is this <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what's cool is, when you're going to Florida, they have an awesome Cobia run. Yeah. So you. I was they trying to figure out how long it was. Like. Gap. <laughs> that, that was the big reason I bought it, is for uh, the multiple other species that black are Blackfins, like fins. Blackfin. You don't even need to, you know, I, I, not, I didn't get a blackfin too much. I pulled tail, right tail wrap them. You just, well, you don't even have to tail wrap them, man. Grab a <laughs> jig. Pull them in the boat. Yeah. Grab a jig. Don't, like, don't grab the line. When you get those, I'm telling you from down there, when you get those teeth, fish without teeth, and you got them on those jigs, grab the jig. Pull them right in the boat. <laughs> grab the jig. It's the best handle in the world. Yeah. It is literally, I mean, you got like seven inches of lead. Just grab it, pull them right in. Yeah. I mean, that's how we pulled the 25, I pulled a, I caught a 25 pounder out of Hatteras. And I just, I mean, I grabbed the line and jacked myself up. The next yeah. one was 18 pounds. I grabbed the jig, yeah. flipped them in. Amberjack, 20 pounds, grabbed the jig, flipped them in. And you do that with red too. You grab it if you, if the yeah. jig, oh I'll grab the, the jig lure, if the lure or the lure you even yeah with, with yeah the, the swim bait this one baits. yeah if, if it's hanging out right you got you grab it yeah, yeah, especially in the corner of the mouth or yeah. something like oh, that where yeah. you can get yeah. a few yeah. fingers wrapped around it. yeah I use I use a bait I mean I've grabbed cobia even I've got I mean cobia would release it out of the boat I've grabbed him by the bucktail yeah yeah just a handle. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to grab a giant one like that. I mean, those things go absolutely crazy. Yeah. They actually do a lot better, and you're not going to net one out of a kayak. Don't even think about it. You are absolutely <laughs> insane if you think you're going to net one out of a kayak. I don't think anybody's thought about that. <laughs> but don't think about it, because you're going to kill that. yourself. He's going to pull you straight over. <laughs> but they act decent in a net, uh -huh. in a boat. You yeah. put them in the net, you lift them up, you lay them on the bottom of the boat, and they lay there. You take the hook out of them, you release them like a drum a lot of times. Sometimes they swerve a little more. Right. Not like after you've stuck them with these gaffs and throw them in the boat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> they act decent on a net, but don't do it out of the kayak. Because you cannot put them on a net and get them out of the water. Yeah. The, the thing about the net in a boat is we put them in the net and they're out of the water. They're cradled. Yeah. That was it's the hardest part. a semi-comfortable position, I would guess. The hardest, the easy part was getting it up to the kayak. I mean, that the fight was simple. Right. It was sticking the gaff in the side of its head. Watching it go ballistic and like my kayak doing this, and then it gets off, 
comes back, Gaffet in the belly, the, flips off again, <laughs> Gaffet in the mouth. <laughs> Blood pool. <laughs> it, 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 it was hand in hand combat. You had pure white meat when you got done, huh? <laughs> it wouldn't bleed out. Yeah, it bled not, yeah, a little bit, not too bad. Didn't bleed out like his fish in the, in that, in the one video. <laughs> you stuck that thing in the gills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After it's gills. No, there is a good amount of, there is a good amount of blood in the hull of my kayak, which I forgot to like wash out for like a week. I was yeah. like, I went to open it to go get something out of there. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to clean that out. <laughs> it was, Coagulated. It was, it was brown and like chunky. I was like, oh, oh god. But that is cool. You're gonna be able to have the opportunity on on the uh, the panhandle. Oh. Um, yeah, and you yeah. and uh, he was asking online, and people asked this. Like he was asking, like he asked us in the group. <clears throat> what size gaff he should get? He was like, should I get the four foot gaff with the four inch hook? Because I mean, you see giant cobias and people fish with this four inch hook, but a four inch hook is really big. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's easy a... to miss a small fish with a giant hook on your gaff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a three -inch he's hook. gonna be down there in Florida. Those black fins, king mackerel. You you're king rarely mac. ever gonna need a four inch gaff for a king mackerel ever. Right. But I mean. They, even the even the biggest king mackerel are not broad and wide. And right. what you get by the bigger width in the gaff is what you get is a broader hook. If you don't have a broader fish, you don't need a broader hook. Mm -hmm. That's a tuna gaff mm -hmm. or a giant hook. I mean, we keep one on the boats. We hook 60, 70 pounders. What was the side we were using? Uh, it was a three incher that we pulled inch. out that ripped. Right. If we had had a four incher that time, it would have went straight across that fish, yeah. and it would have been in the boat the very first time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would have gotten more meat. Cause I saw oh, yeah. where it was in the gill plate and then get deep enough into that meat yep. behind the gill plate. It just got the gill plate, got some gill rakes. and. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see that in the picture. Okay. Hold it up. Yeah. Real <laughs> <Real> tour. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but that's cool. You're in, And the thing is down there, it's a uh, side casting also. It's yeah. A run, it's almost like a drum run. Like yep. we have a drum run. Yeah, I was on the shoreline. I was trying to do a little research on it, and uh, well, when I was down there, when I did my tour, um, the 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 very top of the Big Bend, uh, you know, the Panhandle, you got Florida, mm -hmm. and then it comes up and it comes down, but very top of the, the that area, um, I believe that's where they or their spawning grounds are. Like like off of Hampton is here. Okay. That's where theirs are, and I saw a lot of them. I mean, a lot of juveniles with the stripes and all that stuff. So I saw a lot of juveniles up there, and that's where I caught my first one. Mm -hmm. But what I understand is that whole panhandle. They're, they're, they move along that shoreline into yeah. that area onto this morning. Yeah, when I was looking at some YouTube uh, research of it, that's what you see guys doing it, like right in the towns that I'm gonna be living, like yeah. uh, Destin and Navarre. Yeah, totally. Right off the beach is yeah. where they're like, because their drum runs the same thing. Yeah. And the thing is, is like, it's like. I'm not going to say easy, but the water clarity is just ridiculous. When you see them things, it's almost like they just stick out so yeah. bad. Yeah. I was just like, it's not like here where water, even if it's got a little stain to it yeah. or a little green, it's that blue. water is emerald blue contrasting against a dirty yeah. ass you're brown gonna go log. From here, you're right. going to go from here to there and you're going to go, oh, yeah. you're going to be like, yeah. Yeah. Be is that a good beer bottle? No, that's a good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I was just pretty stoked to. I'm trying to knock things off my Virginia bucket yeah. list before I go. Yeah. So and obviously, drum, you know, big drum. This spring was, was a big thing. That, I mean, that still will always take the cake. But uh, yeah, because that was hard. That was hard. Yeah, you yeah, got the big sheep's right? Uh, no, I've got I've got small sheepies. Okay. What's the biggest one you've had so far? Under twenty inches. Oh, oh I haven't fished for that much. Yeah, okay. I haven't fished for much. In the next few weeks, you gotta go for that, man. Yeah. It's a badass fish, and they don't get them that big down there. Right. They get them. They, they get them like get 20, 21, right. maybe, but not right. like 24. Yeah, I mean, I've caught them 26 and a half. Yeah, 26 and a half. 26. <laughs> and half. Yeah, 26 <laughs> and, and, half. and then there's a big difference. People are like, well, there's not that much of a size difference. Oh, you're talking shit. to me. <laughs> you're talking five oh. pounds. Yeah, but like, yeah. You, like yeah. a pound and an inch or more. Yeah, if I say, oh, a 21 inch speckled trout or a 24 inch, you're like, okay, there's a. There's some difference, but not a whole lot. Right. When you talk sheep's head, yeah. just look at the pictures. Right. Right. 21 inch sheep's head's like this. You see a 20, it's like this and just wide. It's it just right. yep. hit like a, built like a Jeep. Well, good, well, you, then you got the Kobe. They're kind of have left our area at this point. Did you have, did you go out there anymore this week? You were talking about maybe going out there today or something. Um, I was going to go today, but between the leg injury and yeah. work, yeah. I kind of well, let it rest <laughs> a little from bit. What I, from what I've seen, my, you know, my day out there, I've, it, from what I've seen also is they're getting deeper water. Another yeah, friend spawning. of mine went out over yeah. the weekend. A friend of mine went out over the weekend with his buddy Matt and Mike went out over the weekend yeah. and uh, saw four rats and that was it. Yeah. 
They're those doing guys know what, and those guys know what they're doing. And that's the thing. They saw four rats, and Matt was like, Matt was like, you guys ain't seen much. And I was like, nah. He was like, yeah, it's. Right, and that's the thing is, the, he's the, like, it's a small window. When the small the ones small get there, window. that's when they usually. Yep. Yeah. He said it's a small window yep. over there. You'll catch. There'll be a big fish. That's why there when every I every now and then, but you know. That's why when I hooked mine, the first thing I was like, so how long is this going to happen? How long am I going to be over here? About two more weeks, you know, to get another shot at this stupid thing with and my. You didn't get another there. shot. Nope. Yep. But I, you know, I knew it. I knew. I knew right. it was that shot of it. That was my shot. I Dude, you, you don't get that many. It's one of those things. It's not. I mean. When we go drum fishing, we're looking for a chance or two a day. Yeah. When we go cobia fishing, you're looking for a chance or two a week. Yeah. 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 So I, you I understood that. You see him. Yep. I understood that. I knew I knew exactly when I lost and what was at stake and what I had done. Right. <laughs> I just, fuck. Yeah. Now I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that was the first thing. I was like, now I got to do this all the time. I gotta go but you, what you did, though, is like amongst the group, like us, you know, our group, whatever, you... Everybody already kind of wanted to do it and had the and had the plans on it. The With no, you hooking up yeah. was kind of like I need to get the shit done now. And when's the next time the weather is nice? Because it wasn't like I'm like okay, I'm gonna make my way out there. And I'm, it was this just happened. Like yeah. this, this is reality. <laughs> it's a possibility. And then so that for me, like I thought about that. That was one of my driving way. Hey, he he did it. You know, it can happen to anybody. And, well, especially because it's so close. Hampton's not far from where, where we live. Yeah. And, and so that's why the whole chum thing is like, I don't have to buy anything. That was my whole, I was like, poor man's fishing. You go get your bait. You go out there yep. and you do it. And But now when we go to Sandbridge, I'm probably going to do some chum because it's a distance. It's a fucking hour drive. You know, it's, it's yeah. a trip. So it's not, Hampton was easy. Hampton was was doing it in the afternoon, you know. I, was, mm -hmm. I went paddle paddled after work just to go run out and back. I ran out a mile and a half and came back. You exactly. Know, see. And uh, yeah, but I don't need jump for that, you know. But going out to Sandbridge probably gonna do do that just to be safe. And it's just it's a drive. It's a drive. It's a drive. Yeah. And, and also and kind of out battle. there, yes. I've literally yeah. figured out that I'm literally I'm, I'm I don't even need to buy the chum that's in a bag. I'm gonna take the chum out there and I'm gonna drop it in yeah, the water. It's a ball. It'll stay. And then every now Plus. and then I'm gonna paddle around it. Yeah. But I'm gonna be around fishing, and yeah. in my area, I'm going to have a Manhattan scent. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Sharks are going to come right up to that thing. Yeah. It's yeah. going to get... But the cobias are going to swim near it, and you're going to get fish that smell it, and so... Yep. And you went sheepshead fishing this week, though. Yeah. This um, week. Yeah. I went out Monday, and... Monday. Did you grab some mole... Did you dig mole crabs? I dug, dug mole yeah. crabs, yeah. yeah. Um, what this... is Sam? Please. <laughs> I, I wanted to say Sam, please, just to mess with you, man. I know. Um, no, I went out Monday. The weather wasn't as good as it's been the last two days. But I took the day off. I was like, I might as well. That's the day I'm and, like, Yeah, yeah. And this yeah. time of year, uh, the sheep said moving in. I really believe they're following those mole crabs in. Yeah. And so mole crabs, my favorite bait, until honestly like the end of the month. And then I'll start keying in on some hard baits. Fillers. Fillers and, yeah. and, you know, blue crab if I can find it. Yeah. But I ended up... Um, my first drop, I hooked up with a 16, 17 inch. I'm like, okay, this is an awesome day. I get my picks, release the fish, go back to the very next set, drop down, boom, 16, 17. I was like, two for two, two drops, two fish. Yeah. I can't beat this. But again, it was like 16, <laughs> yeah, 17. Yeah, they're, they're not monsters. They're not yeah, these are not right big now. ones. Yeah, these are eaters, actually. These yeah. are five-year-olds. These are the ones I eat. Babies. Yeah, yeah. And babies everywhere. Yeah. So I just kept working and I missed one. I kept feeding it and I fed it like three times. And like Jay Brooks had the week before, um, he just stopped. Yeah. Didn't want to eat. Yeah. Did I have one eat a dozen for the week? He did. And, and he came up and it was a little baby and it was fat. Yeah. Like a 19 <laughs> incher at, you know, just past the second small boat yeah. channel. And this thing was. <laughs> So he really, he, he really was getting obsessed about it. He was just like, I really? I got no, I yeah, I was it. telling Kevin, I was because like, dude, this is a sheep's head. I'm because telling you, you know I just can't know exactly what it was. I'm like, dude, I can't just look at it. In 95% of the time, you miss them, they're going to keep eating. Yeah. It's all it's about having the same like, get it right back to the same depth yeah. in front of them. They're waiting for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, it's like magic. <laughs> the one thing I had happen this year that I haven't had happen in years past is I was actually, my reflexes were so quick that 
I ended up doing a lot of molar hooking. So I lost two fish, you know, go slam that hook home. And I yep, honestly think that they're back. Yeah, I've hit I had a giant one taking line yeah. off of the tunnel one time. Kevin, and Kevin was watching. Yeah. I hooked one one time and it just doubled my rod over, go in the, go in the yep. distance over the piling, and then all, the hook just drops out. Yep. And I was like, I'm, I, there's the only just, way I can explain it is that I hooked that thing in the tooth. Yeah. Right. I had to put a hook in the tooth of that thing because it was mad. Oh, yeah. And I mean, open his mouth and turn his head sideways. Yep. Yeah. Just, I mean, on one I caught on a, on a spade fish uh, on the first movie, I think it was. Um, the, the spade fish hook was bent and was wedged in between two molars. It was in the molars, but it was bent and wedged oh. in. It almost straightened out, not all the way, but it yeah. opened up a little bit, but it was wedged in. Oh. Because uh, yeah. you can hook them and just like set a hook like on, because the molars, if you, it's hard to explain it, but there's, you got teeth and then all on the top of his mouth, you got teeth like this, and all on top of his mouth is just Rock Behind them. Them. Yeah. Rock yeah. Holes. All on the top. Like, say your top, just like a human teeth. Like, got like six, seven rows of teeth. Yeah, just like, like your the roof of your mouth is covered with teeth. Yeah. Rock molars. hard molars. <laughs> yeah. um, and that that one was the last one I lost, the molar hook. It was, was, a, a, nicer was it a bigger fish? fish? Yeah, it okay. was a nicer fish. Yeah. I mean, it. I've seen some it pictures was of probably, them too. Yeah. It was yeah. probably like. 13 pounders called already. Right. You know, again, first trip out there of the season. Yeah. Probably, I mean, if I had to guess, like low twenties. Mm -hmm. But coming from that 16, 17 inch fish, I mean, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fun. Noticing, 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 when you and, open, man. and after that, I mean, you I was out there. I um, caught some real nice black sea bass, like pushing thirteen inches. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, this week, this week, damn. Hold on. Um, you allowed to keep? Yeah, 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 yeah twelve and a half. Tw and keep them. I threw them back. So I'll push you in the face. <laughs> and, and I, mean, I, I caught, Those I things caught, are the best. And fish. usually that's a fall close to keeper. I yeah. catch but the my last, keeper every year in the fall. The well, last I've few won. years, <laughs> I mean, we've been seeing the sea bass getting bigger and bigger throughout inside. the yeah inside. Yeah. So um, I'm ready. I, I was thinking about. I wish we had that fishery inside. Yeah, yeah I wish it was so good. good. Yeah. I was thinking about keeping those two sheep's head. I decided to throw them back. Like those, if you're going to keep and, them, those are the ones. And, they're five and then, years old. Yep. Dude. And then, yeah. you know, I was like, okay, first trip of the year, I want karma on my side. Yeah, yeah. You know, I threw them I back. I believe in that, too. Yeah. I and then, shit. with those black you know, sea bass. I like dinner on my side. <laughs> I, yeah. I was like, you know, two small black sea bass. Small, but keeper size. Keeper size. That's not small. Yeah. Yeah, that's small. But, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, we see like this here. <laughs> but if, if I keep fish, generally I do a meat haul. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I, I understand that because when I get like one trigger, I'm like, eh, should yeah. I keep this thing or. But when you start catching yeah. all. If you see a bunch of them, okay, I'm going to be able to catch a bunch now. I mean, yeah. You need to start keeping them. But I have that same thing where you catch one, eh, one black sea bass is probably. One sheep's head will feed you though. Yeah. 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 But it was a nice trip out there. Um, Water clarity wasn't what I was hoping it would be. I know. Um, and I was, that's <laughs> actually what kind of surprised me with those first two fish. Because I was like, and then the weather forecast, it was calling for winds to pick up out of the southeast, which is like the wind I hate the most out there. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I, did, I did like two hours out there. And I was like, you know what? I'm happy. It's right around. Came back yeah. in. It's a good time. I might, I might do that tomorrow. I might do the new slack tomorrow. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But I, yeah, we gotta work tomorrow. No, I was thinking about it this today. But it would, the days before the winds look like they're gonna be really yeah. dead in the middle. But then it, as the day came in, the wind window was real short in the middle of the day. But well, I'll tell you, dropped out good today. Tomorrow, like, good. Yeah. and like this afternoon was amazing. Um, before the podcast, I took the paddle board out, just kind of exploring and. It was like do you have do you get did you get taught how to paddleboard right? Because I went through a class and it was way different than just yeah, like I mean a kayaker would do. It was a it was like a stab. I, it was I'll like tell you, it was a whole I different thing. Probably don't have the best paddleboard technique, but I've been doing a lot of like before I even started this year, doing a lot of research. I mean. It would probably help to the, the guy have from someone. Bic, you know, being at the shop. Yeah. The guy from Bic actually came by and, and, and was showing off some new new stand ups, and um and and Vic was like, go down there and take the class, you know, learn about him, and it was awesome because I had never thought, you know, I was of course you stroke stroke, but it's, it's the way those things are angled, 
It's not even that. It's like a, you here to here. Yeah. It's it's from your feet to your hip, basically. That's really? your paddle stroke. Yeah. Well, and, and you steer from the front. You know how like when we go around a piling. You know how I, I'm, I'm, I'm HRBT and I'm, I'm hugging a piling, and 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 I come around the corner and the current takes me. I can dip my yeah. paddle forward and whip my back around. That's what well, you turn. And, and a lot of it too is when you think about it. Um, this is something that we had discussed when we were doing some filming last year. But you're buying these paddles. So you want to go and use as much of that paddle blade. You're paying for that paddle blade. Mm. And so it's just digging that paddle blade in forward. And then once you go past your hip, yeah. you're, you're losing yeah. the efficiency the more. Oh, because it starts to go. spin you. Yeah. Yeah. Those things, yeah. Um, so it's really cool taking that class. And, and I tell you, uh, after I went out there and did, did all these boats, and I like the touring boats because they actually felt more like our kayaks. Yeah. The, the, the real surf one, it was kind of rough, so we went over waves, and those things vibrated, dude. Went over that thing, go, boom, 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 my whole body was shaking. Right. <laughs> Every time I went over a wave, the whole thing just shook and vibrated. Yeah. But the ones that were like real touring boats, real yeah. long nose, I, and I got a they felt like... I yeah. got a 14 foot, basically it's a long board. Yes, it felt, that felt like a real kayak. That felt like I was like, sturdy, stable, I can cut through waves, and it was, it was nice, yeah. but it was, it was kind of weird. It was definitely a different type of thing. Two hours later, it was all thighs and butt. That's why I, can, that's why I know girls are like that thing for, for, uh, for, for <laughs> yep. fitness, man. It's all thighs and butt, man. That is a butt-shaping thing. Are you going to be like one of them like yoga, do, yoga dudes I, you on know, that what, thing? Like, what the thing was, I, I tried, I, the one day he said, okay, this is one I usually do yoga on. I was like, okay, I'm going to try some you know yoga positions on it. And it's fucking sketchy, man. That's right. That's what you need. Sketchy. It's well, it's it's. I don't to see, the pole you go. Core like a rock. The thing, well, I don't see how. I don't. Maybe I need to take a actual stand up yoga class because I don't see how you're gonna do like warrior pose where you're in line in the middle of this thing. I don't see how that's gonna happen. I went in there, went whoa, no. Yeah, it, you know? <laughs> it depends on the board though. Like my board, I've learned it's like, okay, I'm not gonna flip the board. <clears throat> if anything, I'm gonna force myself because I get nervous off the board. Jump off, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. So I mean, it, a lot of it depends on the board and your comfortability. But that whole yoga thing—it's uh, insane. I, yeah, I think a lot of it's like you know, like, like a down dog where you have four corners, you're yeah. out. Yeah. But when you try to get in line, I don't, I don't know if you do that in those classes. But it's, I've seen those. It seems like they do. But maybe they all set yeah. the feet a little bit. Man, I need to look at it a little bit more. Doing the crow, like crow and like warrior three and all this stuff. I see these guys doing. I'm like, man, that's that sounds like some Dungeons and Dragons type shit right there. Well, crow's. I, I, uh, do you follow Michael Ortiz? Huh? Oh Michael yeah, Ortiz. Michael Ortiz down in Ortiz? Oh, uh, Flatwater Emerald Island. Island. paddling. And he's dude. Did you just yoga on his shit? I mean, and and also like him and his wife do like yoga poses like and take pictures and shit like yeah. of, like the other day they were kissing and she was on the bottom in like arms like this and he's like up in the air with one of his like it just crazy like star pose right kissing yoga poses right, right, right. yeah but he's a professional kayak fisher down there yeah kayak fisherman down there he Probably does try and that. he also has a um a uh paddleboard company he takes people for yeah, stand-up paddleboarding and he does the paddleboard yoga on like Saturdays or something. And, and, and Mike is actually one of our contributors on All Out Kayak Fishing. Okay, cool. Um, I think he's actually spending more of his time focusing on the sub thing. Uh, because Emerald Isle, you know, oh, yeah. that's, that's between, a town anyway, you know, yeah. that's <laughs> up there between Newber, or Oriental, and Jacksonville. So, I mean, good tourist area. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a, like, a Ocean Eagle kayak. Yeah. Like, stranglehold on that little spot right. you know what i mean right. like my man has a stranglehold on rudy right. inlet and yeah. it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't coming in there and he's got it yep. you know what i mean you, uh, everyone else is unwelcome <laughs> yep. he's got that kind of thing where he's out of is is like he's the man down there so yeah you yeah. What's his name? Mike Ortiz? Michael yeah. Ortiz, yeah. yes. And it's, uh, I'm pretty sure I've, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Flatwater and C on yeah. Instagram, and That's then it. MJ Fit, MJ underscore Fit underscore 84 or something like that on Instagram, too. He's like extremely into fitness as well. He lifts weights like a motherfucker, but he uh, also does yoga like crazy, too. Him anybody, and his wife together. Anybody, uh, anybody uh, got any questions on the. I didn't see I, you know, I, I need to, at the beginning of this, because I've noticed on, on like the podcast uh, page or even right. on... If we put it up right before we what, start, we get more? No, 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 not that. It's, it's, it's people are trying to answer, answer, ask questions on this instead of asking questions on the Facebook page. At the beginning of the podcast, right. I need to remind everybody the, the Facebook page is uh, the one where we look at further questions. 
Somebody one said, post because they go everywhere. Somebody actually just sent the, me a text. Ask William how different is the fight on a board versus the yak? Good um, question. Honestly, like for bass fishing and flounder fishing, um, I prefer being on the board just because you know, those hook sets are all about angles and I got a better angle, I can set the hook. Um, you know, on my board, like I said, I'm not gonna flip the board. I'm gonna fall off before I do anything else. So I can get solid hook sets. Um, and for like- well, If you got a solid hook set, you don't have to worry about flipping anyway. Yeah. It's when you miss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw your ass and right off. when you miss. I mean, <laughs> when you got response on the other end, you're all right. So, um, <laughs> you know, bigger speckled trout, you know, I caught two over 23. Those were my first two saltwater fish on the board. And yeah. um, it was like, okay, I, I would rather fish those from a kayak. The fight from a kayak, I just enjoy. But puppy drone. What about cobia? You gonna do sandbridge with it? You're You know, I, Dude, I, why? I, I was thinking. Don't be scared. I, I was thinking I was. Put a gonna, gap on it, bitch. I just have to figure out figure out a way that I can Our comfortably food. get through the surf. No, I mean what? It's a surfboard. <laughs> but dude, like. I, no. In, in my defense, <laughs> I'm losing uh, weight. I'm only losing my weight. Swim if but, you got to. But it's not just that. You know, it's okay. My rods. Oh yeah, you got your you know, yolo. All, all, all strap, 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 strap. Well, I, plus I, I got I, my cool out with the right yolo. Getting out with the right. <laughs> so I'm gonna be like, Lee, take my rods. <laughs> yeah, right. and, or strap well, them tight actually, like a big bungee it's cord. One rod. Down. You know, I'm not gonna. I don't need. I just need one rod one two, because it'd be sight two. casting. Yeah, one or two. Um, but like the puppy drum, the fight on it, I they'll take you for a little ride. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So, surfboard it, it fishing. On the, fish. but the thing is, it makes Jim Sam style so, surfboard well, fishing. Well, glide so easily. And yeah. what I really want to do more than the cobia is, I want to get a bull red on the fly in the fall, because I sight them in the fall. I want to get a bull red on the fly, and I just oh, like, Sandbridge? off Sandbridge. I've never seen them out there. I've oh, they yeah. it happens. But I, I know, haven't seen them. Yeah, yeah we it's usually we work. I we we had a weekend last year where we caught. Or I caught See, like but, seven drum myself, but that, and we're seeing sighting them. Sighting them there is, is a little bit more of a long shot than trying to do it in the springtime. Yeah, yeah, it, that, it was, that would be a better shot. But, but if you're out there cobia fishing, then and you see the drum, it yeah. is what it, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. You have your fly rod, which you try. To but fly. I mean, yeah. that's kind of what I really want to do yeah. is a bull red on the fly. Well, that's the thing is about out there. It's so deep water, like like. Yeah. Reds and well, Cobia want to hang low, you know, I, and then you you kind of don't have the same leverage as you would as a in, kayak. In, in the fall, I feel like I have a system to where first spot I'm looking for reds are spots everyone's going to pass up, mm -hmm. and then I'll go on from there. Right. So. Cool. Well, you got a good plan, man. Yes, like sir. That. I like that. <laughs> I again, a lot of it, and it's just kind of putting the time in on the board. Yeah. To where I feel comfortable, but I mean it'd be a perfect fly fishing platform. Yeah, you know nothing to hang up on. Yep. Gotta get that on video. Mm -hmm. You pull uh, yeah. that shit off. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yep. Right, anything else? Going to wrap it up. Nothing. There? Nothing. No. No. Good. All right. I think we're at time. I didn't hit it right at the beginning of it, but yeah. What are we at now on that? One fourteen. Oh yeah. It's all. It's uh. When are you leaving? August first. Oh, okay. So it's still okay. Okay. Good. You, then you do. Yeah. I, I thought it was like July or something like that. No, I mean I'm. The it's getting to it to the point where I'll be doing a lot of packing and yeah. like. But you still have a full it. another month before. Yeah. Okay. Then you will. Then you got yeah, sheep. Yeah. I got sheep and Yeah. I think I might. The I've been. I really wanted to get a. You know, obviously paper Kobe, but I'm thinking that. Like a long sheep. That's good enough. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I'm happy now. I, I would like to get a, a, a paper sheep. I, I've targeted them a little bit, but not a whole lot. Well, in the year you're having, man. I'm, I'm oh, yeah, dude. Well, keep on that roll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So start targeting them now. You're, you're yeah. Right. Yeah. I yeah. Think you won't be you won't be here. For, well, you might be able to for the big cobia, but for the most part, you got sheep said real easily here. This target. I know it's when you go sheep said fish and have a rod with a bucktail for. Oh, I'll always have that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, I think That's, I'm thinking pretty yeah, soon. I've seen, them, a, I've seen them on yeah. from, from the first down. Yeah. Play with spade, uh, spade fish yeah. and and uh, and sheepies and triggers until I go. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and you gave a shot at the Reds at the bridge last year, but yeah. So, but I didn't know you haven't t you haven't had a sheep's head fight, so you need that before you go for. I've the Reds. had I've had <laughs> I had one that. Uh, but so you he need straight my he straight that you need spade fish bites you need that hole yeah. around the piling chaos yeah the bigger spades like the ones like Six seventeen inches when you get oh eighteen yeah you're in trouble. I haven't had a spade stupid <laughs> man those things are you can't stop them to I, start I had an eighteen you know I drop down get an eighteen and it's taking me from the ocean side <laughs> in inside the span and I'm like I got this. It goes <laughs> takes me back out to the ocean side and I'm fishing with Seth and I'm like. Seth, what the fuck? And he's looking at me and he's like, dude, you're gonna eat it. And I'm like, I know I'm gonna fucking eat it. I'm not letting go of this rod. Just pick my <laughs> shit up. And luckily, you know, I got it out. And I'm 18 and a half, then yeah. drop back down, 24 inch sheep's head. And I'm just like, well, yeah. this Too is a big solid. fish. The spade fish are so much yeah. stronger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the spade like worked. A 24 inch spade fish would. And the guys are saying they're a little bit bigger this year. So yep, maybe they we'll are. I've seen get, some pictures of some nice maybe ones. Maybe we'll get some good, you know. Well, and, and we had some big ones out there last year, just never, I never all the triggers. One, one citation was caught and was caught off the pier. And all one the citation. triggers out one there last, last year. year. I think so, and it was what caught the pier. So. I, I was out there That's with... That's our range. That's our... Yeah. I was out there with... Those are our yeah. schools. Yeah. And I we had guys snorkeling, just, you know, boozing up snorkeling, and they are like... Dude, we're seeing some monster she our spade fish down below the triggers. They're interested, but the problem was the triggers were so thick <laughs> we could not get the bait. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's that trigger. <laughs> yep, and they're great eating too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are the ones I would kill. I'll definitely eat those. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we brought home. We did a couple of trigger meat hauls. That's right. Yeah, yeah. When you're eating trigger fish are delicious. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They freeze firm. well. Firm. Delicious. All right, cool. All right, we got we go over you. You got all out kayak fishing from Willie Rags. <laughs> <laughs> all right. out all out all out kayak fishing dot com, and Richie Beckley's got hook line dash sinker dot net. Yep. 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 And Lee's on Facebook. I don't have a website. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't even own a camera. That's what I am. I got my iPhone. <laughs> hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully soon to venture on the water. Yeah, that would be your. Yeah, pond. that would be I'm trying to do something soon. on adventures on the water. It seems like maybe hopefully soon. Yeah, yeah. once you get on the, the Ocean Kayak Pro staff and you get on there, that that because it's set up like a blog and you, you do your do your reports right on that, just like a regular website. Phone network because I yeah. don't have that shit <laughs> <laughs> And thank you to Yak Attack for the sponsorship, and that's yakattack dot dot us. Get rigged up. Get rigged up. All right, guys. Thank you.